Hi guys, so on my old channel I had a video on how to make address labels without using the actual label stickers. And I always have every label sticker, I don't know what I do with them, I'm like trying to look for them just to show you kind of what they look like. But basically if you go to Walmart or, you know, Staples, any of these kind of stores, you can find uh, labels and they have them in all different sizes and styles and usually they're like return labels, address labels, those are different because the return label is going to be smaller. Um, so you can put your little address and then the other label's gonna be a little bit bigger, the one that you're sending it to somebody. Um, the address label, <laughs> that's why it's called that way. But, um, so on the back of the package it'll show you that you can go to avery.com slash templates or just avery.com, right? A-V-E-R-Y. And I like using their designer because it's the best, but you can, this is instead of like going to Microsoft Word and opening up a page and making a bunch of little tables and then, you know, taking the lines off the tables <laughs> so that you have a bunch of little, um, uh, labels done and it's just much easier. So whenever I go on here, I'm just going to print this out on regular paper. Actually today I'm going to make labels from my daughter to go to her little school um, for goodie bags. So uh, what I'm going to show you is how you can add your own image. Um, you can put your address, you can write, you know, the reason I started doing this is because they were for the nail art uh, swaps I used to do. So, you know, whatever it is that you need the label to say, just say that, right? So there's real easy. So I'm on Avery.com. Um, they do like for you to sign in, so I'm just going to click on templates. I don't know how to click, I just hover over it and it says Avery Design and Print. Okay, Avery Design and Print. So I'm going to click on that. You can click on find a template, but that's going to help you like look for address labels, things like that. If you know the, the label, because you already have these address labels, you're just not going to use them, then go ahead and type it in like <clears throat> 3196 or whatever the, the template number is on the package. But again, I'm just going to print these out on regular paper. Um, craft paper. So you're going to click on start designing and I'm going to go ahead and log in real quick and I'll be right back, okay? But you do have to create an account or log in. Okay, so I just logged in and it says hello Vienna. And um, I don't think it remembers what you've done in the past, but it depends on what you want to do. Like for me, um, 10 labels per sheet might be good because I do want them to be a little bit bigger, a little tag. So I'm going to click on this that being the one that I want to work with, okay? But if you, like I said, if you know your product template number, just type it in there. And it, like I said, usually people want to do the like easy peel address labels. It's 5160, that's a very common one. But I'm gonna use this one, which is a shipping label. So it's a little bit bigger size, but because I want these tags to be bigger. If you want them to be smaller, use the smaller ones or whatever it is that you want to print out, do that. So I'm gonna select this template. And right now that it's the holidays, they will give you different options. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. I don't know if this is going to help. Um, and so they have some that are pre-designed. And I think that's probably what I'll do. But I want one that looks a little more, if they have one that looks more, um, like for a kid. Let's see. They have lots. Shalom even there. Shine bright. Christmas, New Year. So all these ones that have color in the background, it's going to print out with that color in the background. So you better have, you know, um, color ink in your printer. Um, or wherever you send it to print, uh, you can send it you know, to print it you know, these places that print stuff for you. But now we're getting past that. It has like this cute mermaid. Oh, they do have Hello Kitty ones now. So basically what I was gonna show you is that you can get any art that you find online, a picture of yourself, your picture of your family, whatever you wanna put on there, you can add on to the label. So what I did in my old videos, I showed you how to you just go to Google, google.com, type in Hello Kitty image, or type in rainbow bright images or type in you know my little pony images tokidoki images whatever it is that you want and then you save it right you always so i don't really feel comfortable doing that because now youtube is kind of you know i don't know but um well it's just a way to google so i'll show you in just a minute but they do have some that already have hello kitty which is adorable look at that yeah totally i didn't i so anyway let's just say we wanted to use one of these i'm gonna click on this one select this design so it's already there. If you like it, all you have to do is type in the things that you want to type in. And it gives you some information, but I've done this a long time before. So click on this. You know, you want to change the text. So you just click on it. I would just highlight the whole thing. And then just type in whatever you want. So if this is a label, you know, address, Vienna Luna, whatever, one, two, three, four, something, something. Uh, and then, you know, whatever town, San Marcos, da, da, da. All right. Um, and it's there and before I print this I would always tell you to save it but I'm gonna show you that when I get there because um, I don't need to save this one but when I show you how to print that's what we'll talk about that so I guess the happy holidays is cute but 
maybe just these little trees. And I kind of like this one. So let me go and select this design. <clears throat> what I wanted to show you was that just because they have these trees here does not mean you have to keep the trees there, okay? So let me show you what you could do instead. So let's say, oh, that's what I'll do. I'll look up just any kind of design. So Google, and this thing might be a little bit slow. Um, snowman images, snowman images, but I don't really want snowman. I want it to be cute. So hopefully we'll find something cute. Aw, those are all adorable. So images. Aw. Um, okay, so there's more okay, than I, I don't thought want to bore you guys just like going through and like looking for this stuff. So anytime you're gonna print something like this, um, uh, it's not for you to sell, right? This is not for mass production, unless the person that has the um, image or says that, you know, it's uh, something you can do that with. But uh, normally, I just assume don't sell this stuff, right? So let's say I like this little guy. And if I click on that, I'm just going to save it. So I'm gonna save image as, and I'll just say like snowman. And I'll put it on my desktop, cause hopefully, I always put everything on my desktop. Okay, so let's just save that. And now I'll go back to the design and print. So let's say I don't actually want this image. And so I can right click and I can delete that one. Cause it's just, you know, I don't want to put that in there. And then what you can do is go ahead and add one in. So over here on the left, it says image, add image, click on it. And we're gonna say add image. And then we're gonna browse for the file. And they have Avery Gallery too that you can look around. In my account, maybe you already saved some images or something that was already there, so you can do that that way. And let me see if I can find this little dude that we just saved, because a lot of times, I don't know why this computer, look, it'll put it at the end, even though it should have been at the top. So let's choose. So however your computer works, this is a Mac. Um, and there he is. So now I can just grab it, because I don't want it where it is, and move it over where you want. You can resize it by just pulling these things, or you can actually use the numbers, the lock aspect, you know, that. I have the lock aspect ratio on, which you want to leave on, because if you start pulling it different ways, it can start looking warped. So that way, if I pull it, it's enlarging the whole thing, not just one little area. And I'm still gonna bring it down. And you can also click like centered if you don't want to just eyeball it the way I'm doing. And that's good. And then what I'm gonna do is reduce the size of this, just pull it down. And I'm just gonna say, Oopsie, I'm gonna select all that. And I like the font that's on there, so I'm just gonna say happy holidays. Oopsie. I didn't delete that, there we go. Happy holidays from, uh, and I want Miranda to write herself. <laughs> so if she's gonna have to write her name 24 times, that's good practice. And I want this stuff centered. So over here, as you're working on the font, it's doing all this over here. So just, I'm gonna click on center. And I actually want it a little bit higher up. She can write her name and have plenty of space to do that. Okay. So, I like the way that looks. So now I'm going to say preview and print down in this bottom corner, preview and print. Now how easy was that instead of cutting and pasting and doing all this weird stuff that you do in Microsoft Word to make a table, to make your labels, to go and cut them out. And like I said, I wanted 10 on each page so they're a good size. Now, you can print it yourself or let us print for you, meaning you're gonna order it from them. But when I go to say print it myself, um, I like to click on get PDF to print. A lot of times I will just save it to, and I don't, let me show you what that looks like. I don't save it to Avery, um, to this, this says save to your account because it, it, it does something weird to it. So a lot of times I'll say save to my computer and it'll save the, um, the file on my computer just in case something happens when I go to print, which I don't really care at this time, but I'm just letting you know, because sometimes you want to use them over and over. Let's say it's address labels that you really like the way they looked, so you just want to keep printing them. Um, then you'll have it there. Uh, but let's get PDF to print. You could adjust print alignment. Let me talk about this real quick. Adjust print alignment. Um, is if you know something's up, you want to change that. I hardly ever mess with that, but I do print from the PDF. I don't print straight from here because, um, 
sometimes it does print out wrong if you're trying to print on labels if you're just printing on paper who cares it's going to look just like this right but if you have labels and you have a mac especially for some reason macs always kind of skew it so that the first maybe two or three rows are going to be printed right and all of a sudden they start moving down 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 because it's not really printing where it's supposed to so you can find out more about that with your own computer um so you know it tells you actual size to print actual size or 100 percent scale do not fit shrink or scale below 100 so a lot of times your computer will all be your printer will always say shrink to fit or custom fit or something weird and it'll be clicked do not do that so you always want to make sure it says actual size or 100 percent scale right um it gives you some more information select the correct paper size and print a test sheet on plain paper which i recommend to do i know we hate wasting ink do it in black and white you have you should you really should because a lot of times i don't know why they always mess up <laughs> so i'm going to download the pdf and if you want to make changes you can edit there i think you can also only print some like let's say you only wanted four labels um you can choose which ones you want it to print or like let's say you already had a sheet of labels and some of them are already gone you can select which ones you want to print or which ones you're not right so that's kind of cool um oh, i was gonna say it usually goes to another page here for the PDF and then I print from there. But you have to do that if you're going to only print a few labels, you have to do it before you get to that PDF part because otherwise it's just going to print the whole sheet the way you see it. See? So again, actual size. Do not click fit or shrink oversized pages or anything weird. Just leave it alone. Um, that's my Canon. I think when I used to have, um, what's the other brand of printers that people always have? Oh, I don't remember what it was. Bro Maybe it was just a brother. It always messed up my labels. So let me go make sure I have a uh, cardstock in there so I can print this and I will be right back. Okay, so I put the paper in there. Um, I usually do change the type of paper that I'm using. Like you go in here and say it's not just regular paper, that's cardstock, but right now it's fine. Um, and I hope I have ink. I was just thinking about that. I might be running out. Let's print. And I should have done two copies, but that's okay. I'm gonna do the one. And then um, I'll be right back to show you what that looks like. Okay guys, so we have some success. I do want to know, like I was saying, I think I'm running out of ink, so like it did a little striped look, but it actually looks kind of cute. I don't know, it's fine. It's good enough for a little label. Um, but yeah, so I did want to mention, um, now that we're talking about doing things inexpensively or cheaply, um, this I ordered from Amazon. It's a refill from my Canon and it was literally $17. It came with two of the large, extra large black inks. And then it came with, well, this is a Canon one, the original one, but, and then it came with um, one of each color to refill, and it has been awesome. So I haven't even used the second uh, black one. I've had it for several months now, but I do kind of a lot of printing. So anyway, at this point, you would just cut your pieces. Um, let me just cut one out real quick with my paper trimmer. You do not have to have a paper trimmer for this. Just cut it out. Of course, if you're using this for an address label, what I normally do is I just get a piece of tape after I cut them up, you know, cut them as you need them. And I just um, put the piece of tape right over the whole top because it's about as wide as a piece of tape or even packaging tape and just stick it down that way or use glue, right? You can use um, any regular glue or a glue stick or whatever. So let me cut this down. And uh, normally what I do, like I said, I try to get them all... Well, maybe I didn't say that, but I try to get them all about even, and then I just punch a hole in it. So right now what I would do with the goodie bags is use the little twist tie that they come with and twist tie that on to the goodie bag. And after my daughter writes her name, I'll stick these on. So that's it, guys. Um, hopefully that gives you some tips. I know I did a long time ago, and people asked me to redo the video again just to have that information. Again, you can save this on your desktop, the, the PDF, because now you have it. Um, Save it, you know, the, the project like I showed you before. Uh, whatever you like, or just, you know, obviously we, or we're done. I'm going to print one more sheet, and I'm good to go. So you know um, while Thanks I'm printing watching. this out, I'm, uh, I'll show you one more thing. I just went back, right? I'm done printing, and when you go back, you're still on the same screen. Um, and I told you guys you can only print a few if you wanted. It's usually in order, but um, so it says print all, or you can say click on print. And I told you guys, you have to do this before you save your PDF or else the PDF is going to be all of them, right? So I'm going to click print and it tells you from one to what number. So that one through 10, right? Cause there's 10 on here and I only need 24. So I'm going to do one through four and you'll see that those will be gone. And now I'm just going to print out four more and not waste my ink, right? So that's that. And then get PDF to print and I'm, gonna click download even though I'm not gonna save it though right 
and then just wait for that to open up and then I'll print one more page. Hi. <laughs> I'll print one more page and it'll only have the four. Okay. So just want to come back and let you guys know about that in case you were wondering, because I did mention it, but I didn't like walk you through it. So, uh, that's it. So thanks for watching guys. Um, and I hope I, you know, gave you some tips and tricks to make your own little labels and inexpensively or free basically. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.